Every day, five times a day, one man's voice pierces the sky, and then others follow. They come one after the other like vocal dominoes, this wave of voices calling over the desert, washing over the believers, the followers, the tourists, in the darkness before dawn, the last rays of sunset. The call is answered faithfully, religiously. But we're not in Egypt. We're in Mississippi. Good morning, class. Welcome to Contemporary Muslim Societies. My name is Dr. Amir. Dr. Bintana, you are teaching Hadi about habits. Mom! She sees you raise your voice to me and thinks she can do the same. No, she is learning from you. You wonder why her brains are, are slipping. This is her lesson from you. This is what a Muslim mother gives her daughter. It makes me happy. Oh, your happiness brings me hell. <laughs> <laughs> this is all I have that makes me happy. This doesn't hurt me. They prevented me from succeeding. You never pray. I pray in my own way. There is no such thing, Mom. You could go back and try. It's no use here. But she doesn't understand. There are people, Javier, who would feed on your destruction. People are nasty, especially here in America. Allah. What was the message of Christ? For you, the Son of God, to the Muslims, a prophet. Class, do you know what Jesus' message was? Well, I think that what... Oh, the... you can't have this discussion. Yeah, Class, Jesus was the Word, made flesh. At least the Muslims got their message the first time. Your guy had to come back and say it twice. Uh, hot yeah. I'm so sure of your opinion. Why are you attacking me? Oh, this is... I interrupted you once. I was... Class! While I encourage discussion, <laughs> this is not a comparative religion class. Why, dear, you listen to your mother. The Americans will use you. Why are you looking at me like that? You're amazed. They will pretend to be your friend. An Egyptian Muslim from Mississippi. Exploit you. Teach me something in Arabic. No. Yes. You cannot trust anyone, Hadia. Except us. Inshallah. Say it again. We are your family, Hadia. Inshallah. Inshallah. Oh, what does it mean? God willing, you are a good Muslim. I pray for you in this country. God willing, whatever you want, God has to want it for you too. Inshallah. Inshallah. Allah, <laughs> Inshallah. Oh, Yahoo, What is that? It's nothing. Inshallah. You sit up, kneeling, and then immediately return to the ground again. This is an important time of the prayer. She told me that it's when you are fully prostrate to God, fully recognizing His glory by bending as physically low as you can go. This is the time to whisper. Think, feel, and pray for what you need and want. Because God will give you the loudest. Anything you want? Anything. Anything. Even a pony? <laughs> <laughs> oh, toward the end of the prayer? See your father. See what he's doing. You raise your index finger while it's still on your knee. He is showing that he knows that God is one. Salam alaikum. Finally, you wish peace upon the angels who sat beside you while you prayed. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. It's like a little Catholic mini mass with all the ups and downs. <laughs> <laughs> Remember why you are here, even if they do not. Remember why you are here, even if they do not. And I did. I walked like seven times around, feeling the anger and frustrations of this life wash away. Allahu Akbar. We are all wearing white. We, we all look the same. It made me see that being here is not just about my spirituality with God. It is about the equality of man. <laughs> 